My name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the revised GRE, the second edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. We are almost finished doing all the problems from this book. If there is any math problem at all that gives you trouble, and if you wish to watch the solution to it, you will find the solutions to almost all the math problems from this book from day number 251 through 400. From 251 through 400. This book happens to contain the exact same problem in vast majority of the cases and appearing on exactly the same page numbers as the ones that appeared in this book here, the first edition of the revised GRE. We are done doing all the problems from this book. In the event that you are interested in watching the original solutions to the problems, you will find the original solutions from day number 1 through 250. Day number 1 through 250. Right now, we are in the process of solving we are in the process of solving some quantitative comparison questions. Quantitative comparison questions are a very important part of the exam. They are big chapters of the exam. They have not gone away. Unfortunately, the other two books that I just showed you, the newer books, do not provide us with enough practice questions on quantitative comparison questions. For that reason, from day number 401, we began some quantitative comparison questions from this book here, the 10th edition of the general GRE. Right now, we are on page number 302. The second last problem, problem number 14, the penultimate problem on the page, number 14. Problem number 14, as it, when it appeared in the exam, as you can see here, 60% of people had no trouble with it, 40% missed it. Here's what the problem says. We are given three points, point P, Q and R. Point P, Q and R. Very simple, very straightforward problem. Point P, we are told, is 2, 3. Point Q, we are told, has the coordinates of 5 and 6. And R, we are told, has coordinates of 5 and 3. So these three points are given to us, given to us in the coordinate system with the, with the, with the respective uh, coordinates as, as we just put down. And the question is very straightforward. We are being asked in column A, we are being asked to compare the distance PQ versus column B distance QR. That's what it is. I am going to shut up now. I am going to get out of your way. I want you to pause the video and do the problem yourself. Once you are finished doing the problem, resume the video and then compare your work against the work that we'll do together in a second, okay? I'll give you five seconds to do just that. Pause and unpause the video, that is. Here we go. Obviously, the very first thing, the first and foremost thing here would be to actually locate these two points to see what, they, what sort of shape we are dealing with. Let's do that. Let's do that. P, we are told, is 2, 3. 1, 2. 1, 2, 3. 2 and 3. This is our point P. P is 2 and 3. Q we are told is 5 and 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 and 6. One, two, three, four, five, six. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 5 and 6. This is our point Q. 5 and 6. R we are told is 5 and 3. 5 and 3. This is R. 5 and 3. As you can clearly see, as you can clearly see, it makes a nice rectangle, a nice, uh, nice right angle triangle. It makes a nice right angle triangle. The P, Q, and the R. I don't know why I rewrote them. I already had the points there. There's your point P. There is your point Q. As you can see, point P, Q, R makes a right angle triangle. I'm, I'm, I'm taking too long here. I'm dragging it out. I'm just going to finish up very quickly. We know. We know the distance from Q to R, Q to R is from 6 to 3, 6 right here, from 6 to 3, distance from Q to R is 3. What about P to R? What about P to Q? We are, we are asked to compare from P to Q. P to Q, P to Q, the distance P to Q, what we have to understand and what we have to realize is that the side PQ faces the right angle. Since the side PQ faces the right angle, the side PQ is going to be the longest side in the triangle. It faces the right angle, it is the hypotenuse, and hypotenuse, of course, is always the longest side. If hypotenuse is always the longest side, and this side happens to be 3, I don't know what this side is, but whatever the hell it is, it's more than 3. This is how we write more than 3, 3 with a plus side on top. PQ is going to be more than 3, because it's the longest side in the triangle, therefore the answer is A. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.